All right, welcome back. So today I wanted to make a quick video on how to bleed an automotive uh, Harbor Freight car jack. So this will be the same process for any other uh, automotive car jacks that you find at your local automotive stores. And believe it or not, the instructions for these say to bleed them before you even start using them. So if you ever had a jack that just seems like it takes too many pumps to lift the car up, this could be your culprit. Um, it's a very easy process. You don't need many things. So let's just jump into it. Okay, to start this project, you're gonna need a few things. Um, you might need a Phillips screwdriver, you're definitely gonna need a flathead screwdriver, and you're gonna need non-detergent 22 weight hydraulic oil. Um, you don't have to get this brand. There's lots of other hydraulic uh, jack oils out there. Just make sure it's 22 weight and uh, you'll be good to go. So to start this process, we need to find out where the bleeder screw is, and it's always uh, up on top of the actual jack piston here. So this particular Harbor Freight jack has a cover plate that covers this. Some of the Harbor Freight jacks do not have this, uh, so keep that in mind. I'll show you what that looks like right here. All right, to get started, we're gonna to take off this cover plate and there's four Phillips head screws on each side. Okay, with the cover plate off, you can see that there's a couple different screws down here. There's always some labels here uh, that says safety valve, do not adjust. So you do not want to open these big ones right here. But then you have two more, one right here and one right here. Uh, some jacks will actually just have one and that is your fill screw and they use that for a fill and a bleeder. This one has a uh, fill and a bleeder screw. So the top one here is always the highest point in the jack cylinder. That's gonna be your bleeder screw. And this bottom one is your fill screw. You can actually do this process uh, with just the fill screw if you need to, or if that's the only thing your jack has. Um, and the instructions for this Daytona model, it says only to use the filler screw. So that's what we're gonna do. So to get started, we have to take a flathead screwdriver and remove uh, the fill screw. And from here, we can see how much fluid we actually have in here. Okay, so here's a closer look at the piston with the filler screw off. Uh, now, if you look in the manual, which I'll show you a picture right here, the hydraulic oil is actually supposed to come right to the top of that piston inside. Now, right here, you can see that there's no oil at all. If I pump uh, the handle, you should see oil squirt out like that. But as I stop, the oil goes back down. So this is showing that the oil is low. We need to bring the oil back up. If the oil is correct, you can move on to bleeding the jack, which I'll show you right after this. Okay, for this process, I'm gonna be using a tiny little funnel and we're just gonna add oil until it's above the piston like you saw in the picture. Okay, this may be hard to see, but now you can see the oil is just on top of the piston. Um, you can see that by the color. You don't see that uh, silver shiny anymore. You kind of see the color of the oil right on top of it. So that should be enough. Now let's move on to bleeding it. Okay, to bleed the jack, it's actually a pretty simple process. What we want to do is we want to turn the handle all the way counterclockwise, and this is going to open up the valve, right? So we shouldn't be able to pump the jack at all. By doing this, it's allowing fluid to be open in the valve and now we're going to pump the handle 10 or 15 times fairly quickly and this will force all the air out of uh, the piston here uh, once that's done it should be completely bled if that doesn't work you may have to add a little bit of oil and do this uh, two or three times uh, but one time is usually enough so let's uh, this is opened all counterclockwise so let's pump this now All right, so there we go. Now that that's bled, we're gonna reinsert the filler screw and try this out. Okay, so to try this out, we need to turn the handle clockwise this time to close it. And we'll just start pumping. Immediately I can feel that it's firmer and it's pumping faster. Okay, so let's put this down. And Harbor Freight says from the factory that this Daytona two-ton jack should be able to go from its bottom level to totally top in five pumps. So we're gonna test that here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. That's it, five pumps. So it looks like the system's bled, everything's good to go, and you should have a good working jack for some time to come. Thanks for watching.